Alright. I'm playing a cup by down. He is celebrating his one year anniversary of streaming. And uh, just playing the snow, it's unknown maps. Sounds very good. And uh, yeah, okay, it's quite late, of course, 1am now that the cup starts. So maybe I don't watch it to the end then, if I should finish it early. Because I have to, of course, stop at some point. But I've been doing the highlights of this stream from today. And I have now the possibility to yeah, I'll just put this cup right after. But I'm just recording it, I was raiding down earlier. It is one warm-up and three rounds per map, and it is uh, 12 maps in total, and it's cup mode with finalist. That's what Down said, when I asked him earlier. Can I try? So it's a very full server. Uh, yeah, 66 players, but maybe it's already too much for, yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they are all writing it crashed. You can reach on again. Oh. Well. It is this map directly. There was a boat in the top. Hmm. But yeah, this seems also wrong. Because nothing happens. Just join the server immediately. Maybe it's the map. Hmm.
That's an interesting exit. Oh, how long is this map, please? Actually, clean entry now. Nice. 30 points for first. I mean, here in the end, I can also see driving through here. Trying through the balloons somewhere. That would surely work. Down chat open in my OBS. But yeah, you can just take the CP and then go down somewhere and go further to the left, even that you really look straight towards there. The other idea was that you go here through something, but you can take this as well. Like, what the fuck was that? I 
had no chance to save. That was a bit unfortunate because I easily could have won that round. How many points do you get? One. Okay, well. Kagaspa is an overtaking. But yeah, you can go through here, what I did. Uh, probably how I drove it. Yeah, but that was like one of these things, I don't think that I did a mistake there. The car suddenly went with two wheels into the water, I get wet wheels, and I'm floating like over the water in a way where I don't really get any corner anymore. No chance. I see the chat, they're all speaking, oh, the chat gets Marius, Marius risking. Now Marius in the mud, and now this guy says, if Marius beats my AT, then I'm going to be mad. <laughs> also 12 maps in total, I don't know if I will go through the full rotation or if I can finish that before. Most likely I'm finishing before. I'm not sure if I have to go for that finish. We will see. Yeah, okay, I should have done it. Because it's a five points difference, so if you look at that point, uh, 
version here, 5 points, 3 points, 2 points, 2 points, 2 points, and then already 1 point. Similar to these weekly cups that we drive sometimes. I think the finish isn't even that difficult. I thought I have more lead. But I fucked up the safe finish as well. Like I lost these three turns easily in the safe finish. And in the dirt before. interesting so many players and i barely know any one of those 82 players now already That transition I don't understand. So you have Cas Gaspar and Snake getting like the best points. Behind that the players all scored badly in this round, so the gap there is already huge. They are fourth of the points from what I have and I had a I thought it was only six rounds and one of that and that is then one sixth was kinda thrown away 29 points and more because others also uh, scored better. Like Cas Caspar won the round and I would have probably beaten him so he gained 5 extra points and I lost 29 so that was kinda huge. Ah, that looks like ice, it's not good. I don't know what I'm driving. That's really shit. Is it white plastic? Is it ice or is it a platform? It's like unclear.
Good. Wait, what? Do we have to go there? Or down there? I'm completely clueless and I can't even use the camera. Should have watched the GPS. Ach, up there. Up there is the finish, but how do you finish if you don't have that speed? Huh? Is there a second finish somewhere? And then it's so blind before, and what the fuck? I was thinking about watching the GPS. Now it's of course you would always, if you go into the GPS, lose one whole round. What the fuck? Eh? I'm completely clueless. Game crash. And for... Not just me. The stadium got re-added, my mistake. Left the old version, the map broke, blah blah blah. Yeah, well. Ach, Gott. As I was really react there, because you have reactor boost down. So if you had no reactor boost, I can see, yeah, this jump could work maybe. But with reactor boost down, how would you ever get up there? Yeah, how? Join the game and immediately cross out all of them. Wait, hey, is this the track of the day? Where Hello Mark won the Cup of the Night? No. What the fuck? We really have to go through this. We really have the line for that. It's completely off the line. 
Or do you take the checkpoint later at some point? I kind of forgot it again. Ugh, sixth place? I'm confused. But did I drop that much? I mean, no, you don't take that someone else. From them else, or whatever. There's another finish. I mean, yeah, my last turn here wasn't great again. I have to take it outside. How did I lose so many positions? Like, the thing is, they are not close in front of me, so there was a gap. And I didn't really see how I was losing that much time. I'm missing some finish. Or it's something with a checkpoint that I take. I'm clueless. Don't have to take the checkpoint. I mean, I was thinking about that, but what is the other checkpoint that you get then? So I'm making so many positions because I... Take that checkpoint early. What the fuck? That's also what I thought the best, also the most. Because this is so completely off the line. I thought already that you don't have to take it. And then of course I'm losing a lot of time in that section. Because I take the CP. Yeah, slowing down and so on. If you can just drive the normal line there as well. Uh, that was too confusing to me, this map. Very much too confusing. I don't know what's always up with these maps. <laughs> I mean, we had like, the second map was quite good and normal. The first map was already weird. Uh, I mean, I liked it, uh, it was good on it. Uh, I, had it. I didn't like the full speed part maybe, or, but yeah, the bobsleigh exit needed a bit, but then it was pretty cool to no slide afterwards these two corners. Uh, but that third map already, it killed everything where you have no idea on what you're driving. Now that fourth map, yeah, there is a random CP that you actually don't need to take. Because at some point, I, I got that CP, yeah? At some point, even when you drive normal, you will still get the CP. So they are maybe the last one. Maybe I just never got, when I took the first CP, maybe I never got the last one then. I don't know. But it's super weird, yeah. So on such maps, it's then of course difficult for me to win all the rounds and to go far in front. If you win all the rounds, then you really get a huge lead. But if you don't win the rounds, then it will stay relatively close.
block what's not these blocks Interesting map. Okay, so. Up, up, ah, so. <laughs> This map wants me to decide between risky way and safe way again. So I know also about that. Yeah, that was... No, very bad that I didn't hit this one jump. Because otherwise it would have been probably enough. Wait, map is by Archer too. So he won as well. <laughs> but okay. It seems to be that Scheiße, ey. You know how difficult that is? Ja, das wäre das, dass Kaspar wins. I get one point. That is so annoying, because I'm first, you know? But I'm surprised that everyone else gets it. Why, why do they get it? Because it feels very difficult. I mean, I could on purpose jump to the left. Yeah, and not do that. It was just unfortunate that both times I landed basically on the side there and my car tilts around. Because otherwise I'm pretty good on this track. <laughs> in the important sections. But there I'm getting also nervous and it's not easy to... Uh, Straighten out that car. It's annoying that he became that he got close again. Okay, this time he fucked up, that's good. Hmm. 
as I understood the map quite well. <laughs> there. What is the point limit? 550. If we divide that by 12, we come to like a bit less than 50 points. Yeah, but I'm usually scoring more than 50 points per map. So I should be finished before. It's a bit bad that the cup takes so long. I still want to eat and sleep. And with all the issues that we had, with kind of long tracks partly, with the finish time and with these loading times, and it goes to 550, it takes a bit long. I'm not sure if it was a good decision to take part. That makes it more important for me that I then actually also win this now. But the sin is also a bit dangerous because he comes relatively close now. I don't know if he was there since the beginning or if he joined late. Um, he's not too far away anymore because this last map was of course crap for me with the first two rounds uh, losing so many points. Uh, if I just survived that section there I would have done very good points in both rounds. If I would lose this cup now, I would be really mad that I participated because it, I definitely had better things to do then. So that makes it very important for me that I win. Again, we have such a kind of ending with that long wall right where you can lose your whole round and like an unusual part in an unusual part you can lose everything it's a bit blind with the exit and so on Pretty cool Nesca turn there. Oh, that was way too much release now, oh god. I didn't think that I, oh god, man, 4000s. I didn't think that I would lose positions in the end, as a one position. I thought this is the part where I could maybe gain. <laughs> yeah, the start hurts now so much because it was also a very simple first place. And now I'm only getting fifth. Like, it's such a huge punishment uh, that costs me like 17 points from winning the round and making sure that Cas Gaspar gets second to uh, getting only fifth. Yeah, that's such a huge points loss against him that he's actually way too close for comfort. And I drove already the warm-ups better in the beginning, so that's annoying. But yeah, it's a long day. I'm also not fully focused anymore. But it can happen.
Hey, das ist so crap, man. Why do we need this part, man? There is no way to save it. Nothing. Another easy first place lost. 52 without respawn. My car just didn't get down there. <sighs> That's so annoying, eh? Because I want to finish this now quick. Well, because Gaspar also didn't get good points, but I mean, I just lost 30 points. Yeah, also 29 points. I just lost them because my car just didn't go down. <laughs> And I was then already releasing, there was still not enough. Like, there was nothing I could have done to make this card down. Uh, because every map needs always this one part that fucks it up, right? I really like the map otherwise. But that part sucks. first place again here. Yeah. yeah, did already. Tilt A. The car, the car just moves itself suddenly towards the CP. I had everything under control and suddenly not anymore. <laughs> It's so annoying because that is such a Nice map and I had such a good run, yeah, but I lost so much time in the end. I almost lost the whole round again, yeah. I can't remember now exactly how, what exactly happened. I was going downhill. And at some point I steered a bit stronger to the left and suddenly it was too much. And then when I wanted to counter steer the car barely steered in that direction so, so I barely made it through the CP but then I was very late in steering up again. Otherwise it was such a nice map, yeah. But I just can't at the moment get a map where I just cleanly get three victories and that's it. <laughs> Instead there are so many crashed rounds. Mm. Also GPS but I would not want to watch that. So what do we have now? Well, the start is weird. Well, this is also not a normal map. I feel like at every part you could maybe cut that. I'm not sure if it's like intended to maybe even cut a bit more warm up. Also here, the idea could be to drive like this. Also here I'm also unsure. Shall you like actually let's look into the GPS. Because at this part I wasn't sure. No, he drives there. Okay. But the thing is that I don't know the rest anymore. Okay, there was this part. Ah, yeah. I have to remember that. I uh, don't know if it was sensible to watch a GPS now. Pretty 
hier da. So here I have to go to the left, that's what I had to remember. I would have forgotten almost. Now. At this part. Okay, that's good. I mean, in theory, I should win all the rounds on this track now. Now that I know the track. Yeah, that was important to remember. And the third entry is very weird. Yeah, and then the end. I was not jumping a little bit, I think it's fine. thing is that 50 or 60 points of elite is not much. It's finalist mode. If they deny me two rounds, they win 60 points. So if someone does that, he wins 60 points. And it's already finalist as well. Maybe then even on the same map still. So it's not really looking too solid. Could have been much better than that, definitely. So that is here wise and also otherwise very bad there this point. Not really a great round, but it's a solid result at least, gaining more points on the others. The thing is if you always get 30 points. And the others are not always getting second. But even if they get second, you get a good lead. But if they don't get second, then you uh, create such a huge gap. Also, at this point, you could almost be finalist as well. There were so many rounds where I lost like 29 points. But at this point, it could have been much uh, further already. And uh, then the others would also have a bit less points and the gap would be huge. But right now, it is like... I can get finalists with such a lead and then it doesn't take long and they are also finalists and that's dangerous. And if we then have such a map where I'm a bit yak. Can you avoid the gear change? I thought in the warm up I didn't drop the gear. Okay, he had such a huge lead, there was no chance. But somehow this guy is not in the top 10. Maybe also joined late. Guys, I'm so far ahead of third, I wasn't even in contention. I get a map where I didn't win all three rounds, but in this case it was just a good time by the other guy. And I had this one part pretty bad. Yeah, because Kaspar only with one point is very good for me though. I'm gaining 24 points and almost a full round of finalist. I hope that we have some normal maps so that I can get a bigger lead. Now most important is of course that when I'm finalist that we get a normal map. That's the most important thing. In this map I did now 85 points so that's uh, above the average I would say. Uh, this looks actually okay from above. I just hope that I kind of win this because otherwise it 
it's like Sponge said at the cup of the day in, at, at XP Evo. If I don't win, then it was all for nothing. <laughs> because it's like I really, at this time, this cup takes also longer than I thought. I expected with a cup that is maybe an hour or maybe for me then shorter. But actually, this is a cup that takes quite long. 550 points. Yeah, it takes just some time to reach that. Especially with the server issues that we had at the start. Yeah, let's focus on the track now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what happens if we are through with one. Aha, okay. Well, let's check what that is. It's normal. Okay, that worked. I'm gonna check it again though. Seems to work. Almost all the time. It was a very good run. I guess the finish was a bit too extreme. But you see, uh, when the maps are more normal, I'm immediately there. <laughs> but when the maps are weird... Uh... It looks like a huge lead, but I must say I'm still thinking that they are too close for comfort. I mean, not long ago they were actually equal with me. Surprised that I'm first with that start now. I think I dropped some time. Yeah, again, no Kas Kaspa. Sin and Saka make the points though. I don't like the uh, exit of the last grass. I was jumping there a little bit and yeah. Uh... <laughs> you see the chat all the time. Damn, I got four points this round. Watch out, Marius. Ah, oh, someone is saying something about the point system. We are 80 players and. For some players, it is impossible to get more than one point, which is such shit for them. The point system is so bad, and I agree in that regard. I 
I of course don't really realize it's but the first place here is also so overpowered. It's quite important to get that whenever possible. I seem to get denied again. No, I won all three rounds. Nice. I'm sure that some people of the others tried to uh, barrel wall or something against the wall. And maybe that is also a bit faster, I don't know. But I saw that it worked in the warm up the way I did it, and yeah, that I'm fine with that. I'm winning way more points because Kaspar really had a bad map there. Didn't win any points here. The third to sixth place, they barely make any points. And Sin is also not that strong with the points this round. I wanted to have Down in the background on. I asked him with the music that he uses in the stream if that's a problem, copyright like. He said he uses like Twitch. For Twitch, it's copyright free, but uh, it's not clear that it's for YouTube copyright free as well. So don't have him in the background on. Looks also like a normal map. I mean, when we have weird maps, it doesn't really mean that the guys right be behind me will then all finish the top places, no. But you know, it only needs like a correct style, like full speed or ice, and then I just can't win against someone that is behind me. Never know with finalists. Okay, I thought the bug slide, so, but, but something where I have to turn my car, I was pretty sure. Landing in an ice set there is a bit weird though. Is that the map? Oh, this is the map. Oh. There's not much happening. The ice slate is mega important because, yeah, otherwise it's not nothing. <laughs> so this is not the map where I was go super good. Also if I was finalist here, for example, I'm not sure. Train this a little bit. Uh, multiple gear issues. Nip, was it there somewhere? No. Get onto the sausage. I heard the sound of the ocean. Nothing to look for after this round. I fucked up here. What? No, you cannot jump there. Okay, also, we changed our line now. But one hour, 100 hours for the Cinevi. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know if this scenery really takes 100 hours designs. I have no clue how long that takes. 
but uh, the map itself is like, mm, it consists only of one turn, and that turn is not nice, you don't jump far enough, I will change my approach now. Not a good map for me, but I said it from the beginning. Also, if that was now the map and I'm finalist, I would have maybe lost three rounds. It's not like clear that I wouldn't win here. I can win it, but it's just all about that one turn. <laughs> it's all about that ice turn. I don't know what's happening with the gear. I can't get points on such a map. So I need, uh, on the next map, 50 points after two rounds. So a first and a fourth place, or two second places. Uh, then I would be finalist for the third round. But I don't know what's happening with that ice slide, like I'm really egg on such... Like when you jump into that and... I don't know, my car just didn't get any speed, it was like as if the ice slide was breaking me. It was just so slow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. So, is this the map to win? I mean, it looks decent. Question is what is down there? No, it's also fine. Also, there is a chance of this map, I think. As I said, this first round I need uh, definitely a top 4 place, so that's still possible to win on this. The best case of first place, because then fourth would be enough in the second round. Oh. And it's good to have then finalist attempts on two maps. Kind of. Uh-huh. Oh god, there is something. <laughs> Wait for, but uh, it was like on the line. <laughs> okay, that was surprising. Now, how tight it is suddenly. Here, I thought it's ice, and it isn't. I don't really don't like that. It looks so similar. Ah, okay. The finish is a bit special. Okay. Yeah, but as it has some annoying jumps that can maybe go wrong, but apart from that, ah, it's doable to do well here. It has, of course, a lot of like full speed stuff, so you don't really gain much onto others. But there are also these drifts. Yeah, it's just important that you remember them.
Sakuragoku. Well, the in game Sarko wrote Marius, I dare you to jump at the end. Okay, I need our top four position. As I won't uh, spectate the rest because I cannot. So if if I go quickly through, then I will not spectate the rest. It will take too long until they reach that section, that point of finalist, and then maybe it takes a while until they come through. You never know; they can also catch up to me and get it first try. You never know. Shit run so far, making use of that I only need a four. Oh, getting first instead, wow. So, finalist. Definitely winnable map. And you don't know what comes next, so. Maybe next map is very bad for me. If I don't use this opportunity, then I would lose three more opportunities where others can catch up. But yeah, as I said, I gotta leave after the after I'm through. Unless it takes a very long. <laughs> it's in only one point, that's good. Alright. I had a gear up and a slowdown with that in the last drift, so Sin had a chance to overtake me there. Uh, what nice. Winning Downs Cup. <laughs> shortly check what's the next round. Oh, we are back on this. Yeah, also here I would have had struggle. I can definitely say I would have struggled on this. I cannot drive now in the warm up. Then I will check what is changed in the end. Because I think there was something missing, it was an old version and something didn't work. Oh, yeah, that looks different now. Uh, the stadium was not supposed to be there. <laughs> We're just going up there. Okay, well, then it's finishable.
Also, I mean, it's not completely impossible that I would have won here, but I was not in the top 10, I think, uh, until the end, when we played it the first time. So, yeah, I don't know. Gonna leave there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you. See you then next time. Bye bye.